Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a brand I've never featured before and this is Ballon Ross. Now this has come courtesy of the guys over at Francis and Gay. Um, as I've said before you mostly know, know them for the Zins I've reviewed but I've said a few times they've got a big selection of watches there. Uh, not only Zin, they do Ballon Ross, they do Doxa, they do Seiko, they do Grand Seiko, um, Rado, that's just off the top of my head. So, you know, if you're interested in this watch, give them a bell and speak to Ryan maybe there and he'll be able to sort you out a deal with it, I dare say. Now, this watch we have here, let's zoom in a little bit there. This is a Ballon Ross BR V294 Aero Neville. Now this is the bronze version and this one is actually a limited edition of 999 pieces. So I don't know how you know how much longer this will be in stock for but I say it is a limited run. So if you are after one I would you know definitely uh, get one sooner than later. Now as we can see normally when you see Ballon Ross you expect to see those square instrument panel style watches they're most known for but this definitely isn't that. This is something far more elegant, um, much more dressier as well. It's quite funny because when I was once on a factory tour at Zinn they told me once how Mr Bell and Mr Ross came to them and they actually helped make their first watches from. So if you were to look at many vintage models from Ballon Ross you'll see they'll actually say made by Zinn or by Zinn on the case which is kind of quite cool. So anyway this one as I say definitely more dressier. Size wise on this we've got a 41 millimeter case it's 13.5 millimeters thick which actually for a chrono is actually not bad at all especially when you've got this big beautiful box crystal on there and the lug to lug is a very wearable 47.5 mil and the bandwidth is 22 but does taper down so that dial just look at it there is a lot of bling going on there isn't there the reflections are just amazing so we have these um, the hour markers and the numerals there obviously a lot of polishing on these and I just, yeah, it really does stand out and shout at you this watch. Even around the two subdials here, we have a, you know, real polished um, bevel to them there. And I do like the fact that the text is more subdued. So the Ballon Ross, automatic chrono, and 100 meters. So this actually still is a 100 meter water resistant watch, which, let's face it, on a dressy chrono like this is quite actually quite good. Now, I do like the date window down here also having a circular um, uh, aperture to it which obviously keeps in, keeps in with the flow of the two circular dials there. Now this being that it is a chrono we have the constant moving second hands there for the regular time and this hand and this are part of your chrono. Now because it's only got one sub dial, it is only a 30 minute, 30 minute chrono. And how you activate this, it's got the pushes with the, the guards on here, very reminiscent of a Rolex Submariner. You just unscrew these. I have to say, they're just so, so easy to um, screw and unscrew. Now, the reason why they're actually there is to stop you accidentally pressing these uh, these pushers. Now, as I screwed out there, if I give this a press, that starts your chrono. So that's your second hand, and basically this adds up the minutes to it. And yeah, it's perfectly nice. I say these are buttery smooth. They are really, really smooth, I have to say. Um, quite firm to the press though. If I was to reset, you can see here. So if I press this, and watch that second hand jump. There you go. So anyway, we'll keep that running. And screw these back down. The also one thing I should say is the winding of this watch. As you can see, we have a signed, quite a nice signed crown there. If I unscrew that again, really nice. And there's plenty of thread, it's just popped out there. So if I zoom, you can see how much thread is there. Now, actually winding this watch. It's so, so nice to wind. It really is nice. Now I'll screw it back in because you shouldn't really leave a crown open 
um, any longer than you have to. So anyway, that's screwed in. The I should well, I'll talk about the caliber in a minute. Let's have a look at that box crystal, and I just think that looks amazing. I've got I'm, I'm a sucker for a box crystal in sapphire. I think they just look really good. Plenty of AR coating, and it just shouts bling at you, doesn't it? With that dial, really does. Now, as we come out from that, we have this aluminium insert. Now, lots of people prefer sapphire, but uh, sorry, not sapphire, ceramic. But I have to say that what I like about aluminium, especially on coloured models, it just looks deeper. I think that the ceramic inserts, they're a flat colour. That's it. And I find with these aluminium um, models, they have more depth to the colour. Yeah, I just, I prefer it myself. It's the same when you look at a difference between a Kermit and a Hulk from Rolex. The Kermit's got a much more vibrant bezel, and that's because it's an aluminium bezel like this. It is a fixed bezel. So anyway, as we come round, the body of the watch. Now, elegant lines, and I say this is a um, bronze tweet, uh, treated watch. So it's just, it does look, it's definitely got, you know, kind of a bling factor to it. There's no ifs or buts in that. The case is just simple and elegant. You have a bit of brushwork going up on top of the lugs here. The lugs aren't too thick, and I do appreciate that, to be fair. Now, as we come round to the back of the watch, let's just undo this. We'll talk about that in a second. I love the display case back. And you'll notice this is actually in regular steel. And there's a reason for that. Bronze can sometimes have a, a allergic reaction with some people's wrists. So that's why many companies, well, pretty well all companies who do a bronzed watch will actually put a steel case back on there. But again, you can see the rotor with a sign Ballon Ross. Now, one thing which is a little bit interesting about this, it says the calibre, calibre so that's the movement of the watch, is a BRCAL, uh, what, no, let me remember, 301. Now, that's all fair and dandy, but when you actually zoom in closely on this, you'll actually read that it's an ETA 28942. And there's nothing wrong with that, really. It's, say it's quite well decorated, and it's a solid movement. I had it on the time grapher earlier, and it was within chronometer specs, no problem at all. So it's a 37 joule movement with 42 hours of power reserve. So it's a solid, solid movement. Now, if you'll notice here, the actual strap on this watch is a padded, um, very dressy blue leather, all signed by Ballon Ross. And you get this very nice deployable clasp here. So how this works is here, you have the regular pin. So you put that in whichever one best suits your size and when you come to close it you close one side first you slide that into the keeper and you press down there and I think it's actually really quite a nice looking clasp on there I think it really does look quite nice I'll put this on my wrist so you've got an idea how it looks on the wrist so if I just press these two here and then pull them apart say we've got all the blue rubber uh, the blue protective tape on there because it isn't actually my watch quick wrist check I'm wearing a Zin 144 anniversary model because I simply love it and let's put this on so my wrist size is seven and a quarter so I'll just put this it's easier to do off camera than on camera and here you go that's it so it's just a nice size. I say definitely a more dressier watch. And one of these, if you're the kind of guy or girl who works in an office and is always dressed up, this would look very good. So there you go. So definitely something, um, it's definitely a very classy, elegant, it's got a certain amount of bling to it watch. So but there you go. That's my little review of the Ballon Ross. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe and stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you at the next review. Bye.